most of them who have not even been able to come are extremely worried and they are very worried of what has happened. And uh, my prayer for all the parents here, the teachers, and we thank God for the ministry who has already come and they have comforted us. And we also thank God for, uh, I think the, the, the governor was also here, and, and the rest of the people who have come to comfort us. But our prayer is that we secure this place to find out really what caused this kind of, um, this kind of fires. And uh, so that something like this will never happen. I know it will cause a lot of in, uh, insecurity. It will cause a lot of uneasiness in the school. But as parents, we are very worried and concerned about, about what has happened today. What's your message to the parents who have not yet found their students here? My message to the parents, I am praying for them. I am really praying for them that they'll find their students. They have started now to go through the roll call to find out, to find who is missing, who is not missing. But my prayer is that God will give them peace, give them comfort during this very, very difficult moment. And all the parents all over, I know they are praying for us as a, as a school, praying for us, for the students, but I pray for them that at the end of the day, God will comfort them. And I pray that their children will be found, but more so that they'll have peace. Thank you so much. You. Uh, maybe you can speak to another parent. You can tell us your name and have you found out your student is still here? Oh, my, I'm a parent here of, uh, from one girl. My name's Sir Caleb Wanga. But uh, through God's grace, we found the girl. Though kila kitu imechomeka. But uh, we thank God for her life. And uh, we console with everybody who, who has been affected by this tragedy. But only the challenge that probably we need to think about is the safety of some of the dormitories where children sleep. Because I believe that there should be some safety measures that should be put in place to avoid this kind of uh, tragedies from happening. Parents are distraught here. Young girls have been killed. Things that to me I see are very avoidable. But uh, we console with everybody that has been affected by this. And we hope that everything will be fine. And I keep on appealing to the government to help parents who have been affected. And uh, I know everybody is worried around the country by whatever is happening here. And uh, in this era, we didn't think that such, a, such things could happen. Because we think that based on past lessons of fire tragedies in schools, some of these things we thought uh, would have been dealt with so that uh, everything is taken care of in terms of safety for our children. Yes. Have you been told what was the cause of the fire? Sadly, we bumped on this information through breaking news on television. To me, we were called by a neighbor. A neighbor found the mother of the girl. That is when we came to know that there was a fire tragedy. All of a sudden, we were seeing the minister for education addressing the press from this school. By then, we were still in our house. Fortunately, we are not very living very far from this place. So we've gotten to this point, actually up to now. Me as a parent, I've not been properly briefed. We only really know that the, the, the fire broke out in a dormitory at 2 a.m. Some girls escaped. Some, we are told by other parents here that rushed back to save certain things, and that is how they got burned, got injured. Some got, ended up getting killed. So officially, I still don't have an official explanation from what has happened here. But I thank God that my daughter is safe. But what of that parent who have lost the child? What of that parent whose daughter is in the hospital? So it's still a big challenge. There's still no much official communication regarding what has, what has been happening here. Yeah. Oh, when you arrived here early in the morning, were there measures to, to identify your students as parents? Or it was just, uh, anyhow, will you just walk around and find your student? Or if, there's, if... A big, there's a big field behind here where we found parents and ch children scattered. Actually, there's no proper formula. What helped us that we got some girls who, who knew our daughter. Now we sent them to go and look for the girl. They found the girl. That is how we got our daughter. And that is the, the formula that everybody seems to be using here. You get another girl, you, you give her the name of, the, of your daughter, he helps you to trace the, the, the kid. So that is how, and right now you see some parents are actually are bumping even information that their, their children could be injured or dead somewhere. People are collapsing here, but they are being given first aid here because there's still no proper formula of even passing the information to, to the parents. I think it's, it's not very right. But it's good that I'm seeing a lot of Red Cross people here. I'm seeing police officers here. And a lot of people volunteering to help parents who are deeply affected by this tragedy. Yes. 
Michelle, as you can hear, we are still here at the Moy Girls Secondary School where there was a fire outbreak early in the morning at 2 a.m., which went on up 